Mike. What's up, Mike? Listen, listen, listen to me, Joe. Listen to me. Listen to me. Joe, we, we, we've had this conversation. We've sat it. Me and you have sat courtside at games. You and me, on the floor, on the wood. You and me. You and fucking me, Joe. I'm going to tell you something right now. And, and then you could, because you, you're calmer. You've, you've gotten calmer with age. You got your beard. You got your sneakers behind you. Uh, 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 you got fucking, I mean, how much is the chain? A million? Half a million on the neck? No, nah, it's a lot of money, though, but it's not that. Okay, crack. I'm, I'm still nuts. I'm going to tell you something right now, Joe. I'm so disgusted with the Knicks. I'm so embarrassed that people like you, people like me, have spent our entire lives being disappointed year after year. And, and I know World Wide West's reputation is, is impeccable, okay? But I'm going to tell you something, Joe. If the fucking season starts in December, if the season starts in January, I heard they're starting it. I don't care when it starts. I don't care if God himself is coaching the Knicks. Jesus Christ, black Jesus, Abraham is running the front office. If we don't get some basketball players on the court, we're not winning shit, Joe. And, well, let me and, ask and you something. Are you ever rebuilding, done? Joe, before you could grow the beard, we've been talking about rebuilding. You got the full beard now. It's an iconic beard. We're talking about rebuilding, and we don't even know when the fucking draft is going to happen, Joseph. Joseph Crack. We don't know when the fucking draft is going to happen. Now, my wife is in the room. She's going to fucking walk out. I know, but I'm going to get off. It's Joey Crack. Hey, 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 dude. Tell her I'm trying to sneak you some ice cream. I seen that shit. She didn't want to let you have no ice cream. I love you. I was in such pain, Joe. The floor is yours. You can try to talk me off the building, but I'm I'm looming around the building. Mike, will you ever give up on the Knicks? Will you ever say fuck the Knicks? In Have my you heart, come Joe, close? In my heart, Joe, I've already said fuck the Knicks. Like you, I love the game so much that I can enjoy the playoffs. You know, I can enjoy I can appreciate the greatness of LeBron and still not root for him. You know, people get confused. They're like, you're a hater. I don't root for Tom Brady. That cocksucker had me under a coffee table rooting for the Atlanta Falcons. It's part of the theater. Me and my wife got in a little conversation. I said, it's part of the theater of sports. You, you, you can appreciate someone's greatness. God bless the dead. Even Kobe, there were times when I wasn't rooting for his Lakers. That's why we watch it, because we're crazy. Just this why some other people watch the red carpet and they worry about what Lady Gaga is wearing because they're crazy. It's it's life. So let me it's let me let me let me tell you, Mike. I'm, I'm minding not... my business. I swear to God, I'm minding my business. My phone rings. It's World Wide West. And he says what, Joe? I do not know why this guy is checking me out. Like you where my it? brain is at. I don't know why. So he calls me up, Joe. What's up? You with us? You this? Of course, I'm fucking stuck. I'm with you. What are you saying, Wes? Like, and he's like. You know, we're going to make the right moves. We're going to rebuild. We're going to make this a great team. Yo, Joe. And uh, he, he told me something. I'm going to tell you something, Mike. There's no bullshit. We're not throwing Wes under the bus because I love Wes. A couple of people I've talked to, like me and your friends, behind the scenes, for some weird reason, they tell me that it's not Dolan. Now, I don't I mean, now get it. or in the past. All, all the time. I've had people tell me Isaiah Thomas, different people where I talk to them like Wes is like, yo, it ain't Dolan. Dolan's a good guy. He just hired the wrong guys. So I um I I I don't know. I don't know why he called me that he's a friend, but why was he fishing my mental? Why was he trying to gauge you know what I'm saying? What what the Nick fans are saying or whatever the case may be. The next um, time he calls you, Joe, please get me on a three-way and I'll tell him. I'll tell him and I'll tell him respectfully, Joe. I'm, I'm we're in the most you're from the Boogie Down Bronx. I'm from Money Making Manhattan. No disrespect to any other city in the United States, no disrespect to any of the cities worldwide. You've been all over the world. Uh you they could call you they call him Worldwide West. They could call you Worldwide Joey Crack. Uh, New York City is the greatest city on earth. 
Madison Square Garden is still the mecca, and I'll explain really quick why. The Boston Garden is gone. The LA Forum is gone. Chicago Stadium is gone. Madison Square Garden is the same building where Willis Reed came out of the tunnel, where Muhammad Ali fought 15 rounds against Joe Frazier, where uh, Hulk Hogan uh, uh, fought Andre the Giant. It still has the history intact. We deserve better. Yes, we haven't been relevant. We deserve better. And, and, and World Wide West and Thibodeau, we need players, Joe. And, 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 you know, Chris Paul, he did a great job this year. You know, you talk about rebuilding. You look at what it took to win the championship. Yeah. These are teams. These are no, these are teams. teams. You can't do this these like – you can't just scrape something up. And, and not, not for nothing, Chris Paul's my brother. I love him and everything. But that's not rebuilding if you get somebody who's been in the league for 15 years to run a team. That's not – that's not rebuilding. And, and, and when you look at the Miami Heat – all those boys are young. And and that, those... that and that culture is real. You know, that culture is real. Well, that it's culture way... is the Nick culture. They stole Pat Riley and he brought the fucking Nick culture down there. So and he don't, kept don't it, think though. this Miami Heat got the Nick culture. It's 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 so disheartening and so frustrating. So you say to me, will I leave? I've already left. Joe, I'm sick and tired at the beginning of the season looking at the roster and going, who the fuck are these guys? Every season. That's disgusting. Every, every fucking season, you're like, I know. Last year was guys. the most. I mean, last, last year was the most disgusting ever. And, and it's just, I'm sick of it, man. And, and so when World Wide West, that's your friend, you got to tell him what it is. Or you could put me on and I'll do it respectfully. I've, I've spoken to Wes a couple of times. I'll do it respectfully so he could hear, like, yo, I'm fucked up, man. I'm fucked up out here. I'm, I'm 50. I'm starting to turn into one of these crazy old New Yorkers, Joe. I don't want to be that. Yeah, we're looking delusional. We're looking delusional out there. We look we're looking crazy. really crazy out here. For real, it's for real. It's embarrassing, Joe. It's now embarrassing. we're embarrassed. We're embarrassed. Uh, but we on it, my brother. I love you so much, man. <laughs> I love hey, you too, Joe. Stay talking for the people, man. I love you, Mike. The biggest, biggest, biggest show. <laughs> Crack, I'm out. The big, big, big show, baby.